Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And we're going to take a little break real quick from the Comic-Con stuff because I got to get this review in because I had an interview last week with my friend Livio Ramadelli, who is the writer and creator and artist of this book that we're going to talk about today called The Kill Lock. And I wanted this to go up before his, uh, you know, his interview. And unfortunately, I already had a version of this episode recorded and then it, it got deleted. And I, I, I don't mean to say it got deleted like it wasn't my fault. It was totally my fault. I was doing a mass purge of a bunch of stuff sitting on my desktop and I thought... I had gotten to it all already, and sure as anything, I deleted the uh, original review of issues three and four of The Kill Lock, because I wanted that to go up already by now, by today. It was supposed to go up after my uh, uh, episode with Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 44, where I talked about the Sin Eater returning. It was supposed to go up like, a couple hours after that, and then I deleted it and realized it before I went to bed the night before, and I was like, great, now i got to re-record it. So I'm taking a little break from the Comic-Con stuff. I'm going to wedge this in here real quick, and then after this episode goes up, uh, we'll talk to the creator of this book, uh, Kill Lock, uh, Livio Ramondelli. We'll talk to him in a, a then you know, in a, a probably a. Uh, I guess I'll make it uh, Transformers Till All Are One episode because we do talk about Transformers in that as well. So that'll be coming up on my Till All Are One. It'll be the next episode of that. So you'll see that going up in the next day or two after this goes up. Uh, so yeah, I'm recording a bunch today, uh, back to back to back. So I'm gonna try to get all up as fast as I can. So um, thank you guys for your patience. And yes, for Kill Lock. This, you already did, the, you know, I did the episode for uh, where I reviewed issues one and two, and I'll put a link to that down below if you want to go check it out and watch that before you watch this one. And also, please go buy this book. You can get them digitally right now. I think they're $1.99 for the first four issues. I think $3.99 for issue five, or maybe it recently dropped to $1.99. I can't remember because usually after a month on Comixology, books tend to drop, uh, you know, down to $2. Not all books. I wish there were some. I wish I'm waiting for them to drop. They've been uh, like Ravencroft issues that are uh, the Sabretooth Dracula and you know ones that that came out the one shots those are still five dollars i'm like come on man drop come on drop to 199 or 299 at least um and uh so yeah i guess not but now that the trade's out maybe they will but uh but for this one for kill lock we talked about issues one and two and i thought i think it's a great idea what Livio's doing here is he's you know going with familiar territory to him which is robots it's definitely his strength he draws amazing robots or people in armor like uh, the stormtroopers or darth vader and stuff like you should see his artwork it's amazing i'm sure you have and if you haven't you know go pick up some of his transformer work go pick up some of his prints at conventions uh, or on his website if you can you know get some there um get him to do a commission or sketch for you he's amazing uh, or you know pick up kill lock please do it's uh, issue six comes out like very soon i think next Next week uh, as I'm recording this it'll be next Wednesday so like the 29th of August or 29th of July I'm sorry and uh, and yeah the, you know please pick it up issue six is coming out soon so catch up now and read it it's so good and the first two issues basically set up kind of the world it's a six issue miniseries uh, so it's the first act right of the story and you get introduced to your four characters there's four robots called the artisan is the main robot he's like a, a, a serial killer robot he's like a, a, a doctor kind of like a medic robot or something like that he's supposed to help and take care of people uh, but he goes psycho and he kills a bunch of people so that he's the artisan uh, then you have the wraith who is the loyal soldier he's giant like a mountain size you know 10 foot tall robot um, but uh, but he has lost his way or he's loyal to a fault killed the wrong person uh, so now he's being punished uh, along with the serial killer robot the artisan uh, then there's also the kid who we don't know much about but it looks like a, a robot that wasn't built properly so it's being discarded and they just consider it worth killing I guess so um, even though it's a kid you know but it's a machine and all these a lot of the machines that build these other machines just think of everything as a machine uh, they don't think about the individuality of them or the, the soul of them I guess um, so the kids locked in or maybe they do and they're just okay with punishing this way uh so you have the kid there so we don't know what their crime is other than just being built wrong or born wrong or something uh then you have the laborer who's the guy who's like the nine to five worker type uh holds open a uh you know uh, a lift so that way or like a like a uh, almost like a uh, a hatch or something so that way ships can fly out uh so he you know so he kind of operates those kind of machineries so that uh you know things can go into battle or ships can leave its ports or whatever and uh, and so he's got that job but he got drunk on the job Job and it caused a death so now he's being punished and they're all put together with a kill lock they have an x on their chest here uh just right there and basically that could get the when one of them dies they all die that's what the kill lock is so it makes you spend your last remaining days with three other people 
who are one of them is bound to get you killed or one of them is about to kill the other one and then when they do it kills you like they'll be able to not resist their urge of you know doing something evil because they're apparently all here for evil reasons except the kid we don't know really why he's here yet so that's kind of the setup that's what was set up in the first two issues and now they've heard that there might be a cure out there so in issue three that's what they're looking for they're looking for the cure and they're trying to find out where they can get this cure at so they go see this woman she's a, obviously a robot everyone in this universe is robots they go to this other planet they meet this woman and the labor says hey let me go in because artisan you're crazy and you're gonna probably try to kill her um, and then I, so you stay here with the kid Wraith the Wraith is like yeah we're on a planet that I once helped wipe out and so he's like I'm gonna go walk around for a little bit and he runs into an old hermit robot and the old hermit robot kind of doesn't remember him directly but he remembers the Wraith's race he's like oh yeah you guys came here and destroyed this place this used to be a beautiful you know a uh, planet and you guys came and wiped it all out because you were ordered to and so don't think you have a friend in me just because you helped me take my groceries home and the wraith is like no i understand you know I'm, I'm just i was just taking a walk and i saw you needed help so i thought i'd help and he's like all right but you're not forgiven and so the wraith is kind of having his moment there in this issue uh, which was very touching i thought that was a good moment um, and makes him feel like maybe he doesn't have a way out of this or maybe he doesn't deserve one so i thought that was cool character stuff there that levio did um, then you have the the kid is sticking behind with the artisan which is the worst babysitter in the world so the artisan they see other robots that have the mark of the kill lock and they see three robots like wait there's only three of you because it's an x so each point is you know for four so like where's your fourth one and they were like oh he's up on the moon he's he fell in love with some woman and he didn't want to he wanted to spend his last days with her so we're just down here you know trying to stay alive and keep each other fed and everything and so we have some extra food and alcohol if you guys want to join us and he goes oh you have a kid with you they're like what's up with that and the artisan's like yeah I'm, i brought the kid here to, to teach him a lesson and show him what happens uh when when one of us dies because i don't think he fully grasps the situation because he keeps wandering off and being a nosy kid and i think he's going to get killed and then that means i'll die and the others will die and he goes so i'm here to show him you know what happens when we die and he goes what do you mean and then the artisan pokes out the eyes of one of the robots and kills them and then ro then flames and fire melt out of the robot's face and then the other two die and then almost like in a beat for comedy like really dark gallows humor comedy levio teleports us to the moon and you see the guy embracing with you know the the fourth robot holding the girl and saying like i'm so glad i decided to stay here with you and spend these moments with you i love you maybe we can run away together and be married and happy and then the guy's face melts in front of her and she's like ah and she runs off so that guy died so now the artisan showed the kid here's what happens uh when we die our you know our faces melt off and we get uh, you know we, we get killed obviously so now you know this is what is our fate if we don't get this cure and get this to work so when the laborer fails to get the, the cure from the lady and get the information he needs the artisan goes you know what I'll go talk to her and they're like please don't kill her she's just doing her job and she and she's you know she's told you know and I he, the laborer tried to say like hey we have a kid with us but the lady wasn't really paying attention uh, or he never got the right words out or didn't say it properly or, or because she shut him down so quickly um, so the artisan goes in and you think oh my god he's gonna kill her he's gonna do something and so he tells her like you have one chance to tell me what I want to know and she's like well She's like, I'm not gonna. And he's like, well, then I'll kill you and I'll do this to you and I'll do that. And she goes, you think you're the only artisan who's ever threatened me to try to get this cure? And she goes, fine, you know what? Just because I wanna see what happens to you when you go find this cure, I'll tell you where it is. It's on this planet at these coordinates. And she goes, and by the way, you're not the only artisan I've dealt with that has a kill lock, you're not special. So that, you know, sets in with the artisan because he's this arrogant serial killer type. Um, and he just killed a bunch of robots just to prove a point to the to a little kid no less so uh so he takes that information and he goes back he says look here's where the planet is so in issue four they go to this planet and there's impending doom there because when we see the planet there's these giant like 30 foot robots like sentinels uh, that are waiting for them and the the woman who gives the, the coordinates she calls the planet and she says she sees the kid walking with the other three robots she goes oh my god they really did have a kid with them holy crap so she calls and she says please I'm sending you four people but they have a kid with them i didn't realize that uh you know whatever like please don't kill them i'll owe you one just let this one group go and i'll send you another group and the person she's talking to is like no you're you know you took too long to send this group we need to eat we need to feed we need to kill so no we're gonna you know because it's four you know th that's what we find out when we go to the planet it's another four robots there they have the kill lock too so they're not actually a cure what they do is anyone who comes to them looking for the cure they feed their sick desires to kill because that's why they all have the kill lock on them they've all been murderers to some degree or done some kind of crime so this is their way of 
killing without killing each other. So they just let uh, groups get sent to them and they kill the groups. Uh, so you get these two 30 foot robots and then there's two other members who were trying to figure out who they are. And at the end of the fifth or fourth issue, they figure out who at least one of those other two robots are and it's another artisan. So when the artisan sees that it's another of uh, one of him and it's like sitting there smoking and getting high or whatever and it's like, oh, F me indeed. Because <laughs> uh, when the artisan sees him, he goes, F me. It's another artisan. And he's like, F me indeed. Uh, so I'm curious to see where they're going to go if they're going to try to work something else out are they going to fight they're going to kill each other because there's a battle going up top with the wraith and the lab laborer and that's been really great and there was even a moment where when the laborer finds out that um the artisan got the coordinates and he found out that he you know killed robots to show the kid what happens to them with the face melting off the laborer got pissed he's like no he's a kid he's an innocent why'd you show him that and he got mad and they fought the late uh, the the artisan and actually put him in his place the old drunk actually beat up the artisan and put him in his place, which was cool. And the artisan tried to take, he can see weaknesses, so he tried to take out uh, the laborer's knee, and the, the laborer's like, yeah, I have an old busted knee, but you can't make it worse. It's already, I, I walk in pain every day, so you hitting it actually didn't do anything. So then the laborer, you know, kicks the crap out of the artisan. So yeah, there's some great character stuff here. I think what Levio's doing is making a really compelling story. I mean, about these four individuals who are sentenced to death, and they're trying to find a way out and be the only ones who maybe have ever found a way out but now their salvation is actually not salvation at all. It's a confrontation with uh, another group that's in a death lock that has more powerful robots in their group than their than you know the main characters have. So uh, it's neat. I like what Levio's doing, and we're going to talk more about Levio's transformer work and the work on Kill Lock in my interview on the uh, Till All Our One show. So make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're interested in hearing this and you don't watch my other shows. You know, please do. Please check them all out. I try to you know bring the same level of consistency and and, and discussion to all my shows and so if you liked me talking about kill lock three and four today go pick them up buy the book support it issue six comes out soon so catch up now and then for those of you who collect trade paperback versions uh there will be a trade paperback version coming out i believe in september october or, or something like that maybe even august i can't remember bull i know we talked about it in the interview with levio so go listen to that episode and learn more about the book from you know from the creator himself so yeah definitely do that and let me know what you think of these two issues if you had them yourself or if you haven't go pick them up read them let me know your comments down below and we'll continue our conversation down there Thanks for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.